Hi, this is Scott Jordan, and you are watching live here at Sellers of Sonoma in beautiful Railroad Square, Santa Rosa, California. Video going. Welcome everybody to TV Tuesday Live. This is the show where we taste wine, we talk about wine. I get to interview winemakers and chefs, people in the hospitality business. And tonight, we're going to do something real fun. We've got uh, four, do I have four? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I do. I have four wine specials that we've got in the tasting room. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to taste... Um, the wines that are in the wine special. We're going to taste uh, the 07 Sauvignon Blanc. Got a great buy on that from Gann Family Cellars. Uh, then we're going to taste the uh, 2008. Is that the 2008? Perfect. Uh, Pinot from James Family Cellars, their gold medal winner. Uh, got a great buy on that. And then Bonneau's 07 Zinfandel. Jeez, wait till you see the special on this. You guys can uh, call the orders in, or you can go right to our website. As soon as you go to the um, online store, these specials will be uh, listed there, and you can buy the wines. And then I got a, a super buy on an 07 uh, Bono uh, Napa Valley Syrah. So we're going to taste some very cool wines. Um, we're going to talk about um, how they pair up with, with foods, and um, because... In wine country today, we were near 80, well, my wife said it was like 82 in the car when she was driving around today. Um, in the 80s, absolutely magnificent, beautiful, beautiful day. I got my little go-kart out. I have a little Mi Miata, and so I, I uh, put the top down, drove the Miata today. That was very cool. And, uh, I mean, it is absolutely stellar. Uh, those of you that are in the Midwest, man, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, Denver got three feet of snow. <laughs> three feet of snow. That's crazy. Get on an airplane and move. That's all I can tell you. That is absolute insanity. Uh, but we are, we are looking at an absolute stellar week this week and weekend. The weather is going to be just magnificent. Uh, in the high 70s, low 80s, uh, could not be any better. Doesn't look like there's any fog in the horizon. Uh, and then a little, I'll uh, give you a little update. Uh, wine country, I, I did get a chance to uh, drive through some of the uh, vineyards up in the northern area, north of our area here. Um, the vines are pushing. Man, are they looking beautiful. They're really lush and green. Uh, the vines are really uh just screaming right along. We've had some pretty nice weather, so uh, a lot like uh, 2012. You know, with the once that rain stops, it'll heat up here, and 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 those vines are taking off. But they're looking great. If you're planning a trip uh, to wine country uh, and you want some tips, call the taste room. Our staff is very very versed on what to do in wine country, where to go, uh, the great places you should stay, and uh, to be centrally uh, located. And uh, we'll help you with wine tours and things uh, in the valley. The valley's gorgeous right now. Great time to visit. And uh, for the golfers out there, I will be golfing on Thursday <laughs> with my son, uh, Kevin. And uh, so we're going to be golfing, and it's going to be just beautiful. And sorry about that, those of you that are in the snow. I mean, who, go figure. Um, so we're going to taste uh, these four wines. Uh, we're going to talk about, uh, about the deal that we've got going. Also... Um, we, last week we did the launch of the blind tasting. The blind tasting is when you come in the tasting room, you typically are going to taste four wines. Uh, we have the start to finish, which is light to heavy wines. We do that one. And the blind tasting now consists of, uh, what is in that one? Uh, Pinot is in there. There's a, uh, what's in there? There's a, a Zin in there, a Cab, and a Syrah. 
We don't tell you the order. You simply uh, try to guess, uh, like we did last week. And um, if you guess correctly, your tasting's free. If uh, you're a wine club member, you get a free glass of wine. Couldn't be any better than that. Um, and so then you get to enter into a contest to win a bottle of wine for a buck. Now, the, the thing you have to remember is uh, you must be tuned in to win. Some of you are tuned in right now that uh, weren't at previous times and missed out on some real deals. Uh, some of you very lucky people like Brad um, tune in a lot. And uh, anytime they visit the Valley, they make sure that they go ahead and do that tasting so they can be entered into the contest. And so, because it's just me tonight, um, I, I get to pull the name out of the hat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a name now. If I don't get a winner right away or at some point uh, toward the end of the show, I'll pull another name. Uh, every week that I don't have a winner, we add a bottle. We, we cap it at 10. It's at 10. Okay, 10. This is getting really serious. This means you got to tune in. And uh, if you have a cell phone, you can tune in. If you have a computer, you can tune in. Or if you're in the local area, just come in. Um, and tonight we're doing the spring wine special. So the tasting is on us tonight, which is fun. So you're going to get to taste the wines. And uh, if you are in this hat, well, what the heck? Your, your chance is pretty good. You might win and win 10 bottles. So let me dig in here. I'll do it left-handed versus right because that makes a difference. And I dug way down at the bottom. All right, let's take a look. What do we have? Here we go. We have Michael Berlin. Michael Berlin, an 818 area code. 818, anybody want to shout out to Karina? She's doing the social media stuff tonight, and uh, we'll be fielding our questions. And uh, if anybody knows 818, well, anyway, Michael uh, Berlin, you have won 10 bottles of wine for a buck a bottle. you got to love that. So let's get to the first wine. Um, the first wine tonight is Gan Family Cellars. That's Gan Family Cellars. Gan Family Cellars. Gan Family Cellars. Oh, wait, that would be a cue for Karina to put up that slide. <laughs> so. And good evening. My name is Scott Jordan. And no. you, are you can come get wine, but I want the slide up. This is, a, is it up? California. Beautiful. Gan Family Cellars, 2007. Here's the deal he's got going on this. On six to 11 bottles, your retail price on that wine is 24. He's got it at $15. On six bottles, all the way up to 11. If you buck up and buy one more bottle after that, you can have it for 12.50 a bottle. Got to love that. And then uh, shipping, they're going to do a special on the shipping. Um, on the shipping for six bottles, it's uh, 10 bucks to ship anywhere. So no matter where you are in the country, uh, order six bottles of that wine, and Gan will ship it to you for 10 bucks, which is which is big savings. That's probably about. And then twenty dollars on uh, 12 bottles or more. And that's, um, uh, go with go 12. Are you having an issue there? What I mean, how bad is it? What about now? When you you should be rocking and rolling. Uh, you guys that are watching right now, tell me if I if we have a audio issue here at all. You shouldn't have an audio issue. No. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're we're okay. Now we're better. Okay. And so, also. Yes. Is Hollywood, LA area. LA. No excuse. You got a phone? You got a cell phone? You can you can uh, tune right in. So wait till you get my email because that man will make you nuts. Ten bottles of wine. Um, all right, going back to Sauvignon Blanc, 2007, great vintage year. Oh, you know the interesting, except for except for James, all these are sevens. That's interesting. Great vintage year. It was a very nice vintage year. Um, this is all a fruit. Mm. And of course, you know, you guys from the Midwest or if you're in Denver and watching or those places getting just 
pounded with snow. You can't really relate to Sauvignon Blanc, but I'm telling you, I can relate to Sauvignon Blanc right now because it's freaking nice here. So if you're in a part of the country where it's decent, East Coast is heating up big time, so uh, get out your swimming suit and uh, grab a Sauvignon Blanc. It's, it's uh, a really nice wine to have and a nice start to your meal and a great buy on 12 bottles or more, twelve fifty really for all the state fruit. Now, one of the things that you want to do with, um, when you're talking about Sauvignon Blanc, one of the cheeses we use in the tasting room that we like a lot is uh, Mancheco. It's a real mild cheese, but it kind of, it's real versatile. I can use it with this, I can use it with the Pinot, um, and it pairs up really nice. So, have a little cheese with your Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, again, we're really talking about a great buy on this wine. Um, $24 is the retail price. You can have it for $15 on six bottles or more, or a case or more, you can get it for $12.50. Shipping is $10 on six bottles, $20 on $12. That, that, it just doesn't get any better than that. Mm. Now, one of the things that um, I did this week, I, I was looking at some old videos. Um, as many of you know, um, this is the longest running show, and I just wait, I'm just saying that every week because I want somebody to challenge me. Um, this is the longest running wine webcast in the world. We, I have eclipsed everybody. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk was probably the leader uh, and really the master in, in this type of uh, webcast. Um, he did crazy stuff like um, pairing up wine with Fruit Loops and things like that. I mean, it was just, it was wild, and, and, and he's, he's a master. But he stopped doing his show, so we went right past him. And uh, I looked back at a video uh, from 2009, August of 2009, probably one of the earliest shows that we did. Um, and later on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play a little clip from that. Um, that was pretty funny. And, and it, we did, it was all about rosé. And um, the, uh, the interesting part of that show, though, was there was nobody watching. I mean, not even my wife. I mean, no one. There was nobody watching that show. Um, but I didn't care. I ran that show every single week, regardless if anybody was watching. And now you guys have tuned in. And uh, so shouts out to our, our uh, bloggers out there. Um, we've got Sean and Dan and... and um, I've got, uh, 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 who do I got? I got uh, Grace Hoffman and Dizelle, and I've got, uh, I've got uh, Hobie in Sonoma, the town of Sonoma, uh, uh, watching the show and, and uh, taking notes. And uh, you guys do have a blogging about what we do, and we really appreciate that. So Sauvignon Blanc, great buy. Summer's here. Take advantage of this. Pick up a case for twelve fifty a bottle, and you're. Um, I'm. It, it's. I can tell that it locked out. Yeah, it keeps cutting out. Is that right? You guys, you know, just stay with me on this technical thing. How's that? That's dead, isn't it? It's dead. Oh, not anymore. Is that right? Yes. Interesting. Do you want to try this one? Uh, no, because it's not going to work on what I did okay. over there. We're just going to make that work. Maybe the problem is in here or something. Okay, I need you guys need to buy some more wine so I can afford more equipment because I got to get this equipment updated here, there man. Is. is that better? Yeah. Okay. For now. All right, for now. Okay, so Sauvignon Blanc, great buy, 2007 uh, Russian River from. Uh, again, family sellers. Okay, and I don't have a stip, spit bucket, so I'm just going to drink this. But the good news is I worked out today, and because I worked out, I can actually drink more wine because I got rid of all those calories. You consume more because you exerted more. That, that's true. That's true. <laughs> that's my excuse today, mm. too. Well, and I, I uh, went to my doctor last week and had a really good checkup with the doctor. Um, and uh, 
you know, I'm actually, for an old guy, I'm fairly good shape. But he really loved the idea. He said, yeah, you can have a glass of wine a day. But what he didn't define is he didn't define the size of the glass. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to have the biggest glass of wine. All right. The second wine in here is a gold medal winner uh, from James Family Cellars. Uh, this is their 2008. This is the second vintage for them. Their first vintage commercially was 2007. Gold medal winner then as well. Uh, this is a, a gold, gold medal winner. Um, retail price on this wine is $36. $36 on this wine. And uh, we've got it now at $28. $28. You guys, that thing just went. I can, I can hear that it died. Uh, 28. Testing. Too, Too loud. Hello, everybody. So, oh, you know what's, you know what's cutting out? It's, it's, it's that. But it's in my headphones. It's it was? A second ago. Okay. All right. Well, I hear it. Just keep going. Okay. okay. All right. We'll keep it going. $36. Uh, you got the slide up on the, on the, uh, James? So get the slide above my head. Is it up here now? Mm -hmm. Are we do. Okay. So up here, up here, look up. Uh, 28 bucks on one to five bottles. You buy six or more, you can have it for $24. $24. Gold medal winner, 2008, Stony Point Vineyard. Um, let me show you where that, that vineyard is. So here, stay with me, if you guys can see this. Um, Katadi is here. We're right here. This is us right here. Uh, you go down the 101 just a little bit on this side of the 101. Right here, there's the Gallo Vineyard, and right next to that is James Family Cellars. It's where we have our lobster lunch. Very cool. So great property. However, it says here Sonoma Coast, but we've talked about this before, but this Appalachian Russian River now extends down here. So you will see uh, future vintages will actually say, two thousand. Uh, they'll, they'll say uh, Russian River instead of uh, Sonoma Coast. Um, oh, beautiful, <laughs> just a floral nose on this. And again, we talked about cheese. Mancheco, man, very versatile. Goes with this just like butter. Mm. Wow. The wine is pouring really nice right now. It's showing very, very well. Retail price, again, 36 You can see it above my head. Uh, 28 on one to five bottles. Go six or more. Get it for 24 bucks. Um, all estate fruit, low, small, tiny production. This production on this wine was, I think, 100 cases. I mean, we're not talking about a huge amount of wine. Not a huge amount left. When it's gone, it's gone. Once this sale runs out, then we're done. Um, but you, couldn't, you can't buy a better Pinot Noir than this uh, right here, with, without a doubt. Um, Oh, yummy. And with that Mancheco, perfect. Just goes with it so nice. Just beautiful. Um, now, coming down to the tasting room this weekend, we've got uh, Ricky Allen Ray. Ricky Allen Ray will be in the house on Thursday. His special time is 5.30 till 8.30. And then on Friday, John Pita. John Pita. Uh, Man, he has been playing here a long time. And then uh, Chris Allman this weekend. Chris Allman is in on Saturday. And uh, he, he is going to rock the house out. Uh, you'll be able to come up here to the li library lounge. He'll be playing up here. And uh, you can order dinner from the local restaurants and have it right here. So a lot of fun uh, in the tasting room. Um, so, all right, let's go back to James Family Cellars. Um, th they're knocking it out of the park. Uh, you know, all three of their vintages we, we have uh, available as a vertical. So you can now buy 07, 08, and 09. And all three of these have gotten uh, gold medal from the uh, San Francisco Chronicle, which is pretty darn good for a small producer. The other thing, wow, all of a sudden that really, you know why? Because the volume on that thing is too high, and it, that's why it's killing it. So it's the volume on the left there on the monitor side. 
um, just down a little bit, um, which might be interfering with this too. Sorry about the technical thing, gang. It's just, you know, it's a live show. What am I going to do? Um, but we also know that their 2010, they entered in, um, and it got, uh, I believe, best of class and a gold medal. So they are four vintages deep and all four vintages gold medals. That's pretty darn good for a small producer. Uh, so great buy, $36. Now you can have it at 28 bucks up to five bottles, 24 if you buy six or more. Uh, no limit. You guys can stock up real good on that. And uh, that's a super, super deal. Um, and this Pinot is pouring really pretty. Mm. Just, just luscious. Nice, soft finish. You want a nice, soft Pinot. Um, that's it right there. Man, absolutely fabulous. Now, um, let, let me do something that's kind of fun. This, <laughs> this is... <laughs> Uh, I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos that we've done over the years um, in little clips, and they're on YouTube. They're all over the place. And I was um, looking around for something that was really old, and um, I came up with this video. This is me down in the tasting room, one of our earliest, earliest videos that I could find, going back to August 2009. Go ahead and roll. This is TV Tuesday in the beginning. We're going to be tuning. My name is Scott Jordan, and you are watching live here at is it up there? of Sonoma okay. in Santa Rosa, California. Is it loud enough? It was kind of low. Railroad yeah. Square. Those of you that were here this weekend had a great time. We had a we had a nice jazz band uh, here on Saturday. All right, the I'll take it after. Square. We'll, and, we'll do the uh, cutaway and then do the full. And we had a wonderful, Are you, wonderful just, you have to cue me on the cutaway. Thank you for all that came, and uh, we had a great time. Okay, so there's, there's, you can see that's TV Tuesday live when we had no one watching. I mean, I'm doing a show, staring at a camera. There was, a damn, no, there was not one person watching in 2009. Trust me, man. I know. <laughs> nobody. Nobody was watching. Um, but we stayed with it, man. We stayed with it, and we did it every single week. Uh, are you back on a full shot on me now? Okay, good. Um, anyway, well, I thought I'd share that with you because that was really fun. But interesting, on that video, um, the wine, I did a wine special, and the wine special was uh, Gann, Sauvignon Blanc, and Merlot uh, as we did a wine special. But one of the things that we did, and... and um, I'm going to show you the next wine, and then we'll talk about tannins, okay? Tannins are, are uh, what comes from the skin of the, of the grape. Um, we have a question, so let's go to Karina. Karina, fire away. Tell me your question while okay, I so enjoy this, this wine. This question is coming from Dizel, a.k.a. My Vine Spot, and he would like to know, with the seasonal warmth, what are some of your favorite transitions, transition wines to match the lighter fare that you're probably eating? Would the, would the change of weather be nice? What yes. are we moving into? Well, um, clearly, we're, gonna, we're looking at Sauvignon Blanc. Um, uh, we have a dry Moscato in the room that's really fun. The other thing, and I don't really get away from them too much, uh, rosés. In fact, what we were talking about in that, that old video, that was, <clears throat> those were all rosés that we were talking about. Great transition. Um, springtime, summertime food, uh, rosé works really well. Think about rosé for uh, spicy foods. You're going to have Thai food or anything like that. The rosé and Sauvignon Blanc will actually hold up really nice. So uh, if, you're, if you're not necessarily a big fan of those wines, try them with the spicier foods, and you're going to find you're going to really like them. Um, so thank you uh, for that question. And... Uh, uh, Dizelle, I, I, we might be heading out your way in June. Um, my wife and I were looking at uh, doing a little East Coast trip. We might go to uh, fly into Washington, D.C., and then go through Virginia. If we do, we'll, we'll certainly let you know, and, and uh, you can show us around. And then we're going to go to Tennessee and some fun. Well, it's, it's all on the map. It's not. Are you going to Nash, Vegas? Oh, sure. Why not? Why would you go all that way and not go there, man? I mean, right? Right? How cool is that? 
My wife really, she wants to go, I mean, we want to go on the back road stuff. We're, we're going to go on roads that most people don't even go on. And we're not going to make big reservations. We're just going to land at places and kind of just play around. Yeah, we're going to have fun. It's our, our 30th wedding anniversary. So, yeah. So, yeah. We have a lot of things to talk about. <laughs> okay. All right. So great buy. If you want a Pinot right now, this is the buy right now. It couldn't be pouring any better. Gold medal winner. Uh, $36 retail, $28 right now, $24 on six or more. Stock up on it. Yes, you can lay these Pinots down, folks. Don't be worried about laying them down thinking that they're, that they're not going to age. They're going to age just fine. You could probably put another five, six years on this. This would be a magnificent bottle of wine uh, in your cellar. Now... All right, you guys ready? <laughs> if, if you guys don't jump on this, th this wine, I'm telling you right now, this wine has been pouring, all of these have been pouring fantastic in the tasting room. This is 2007 Zinfandel. Come on, get over here. Karina has to... What cheese goes with that summer gravity? Oh, well, the Mancheco goes with all that. I'm just, I, I got all the same stuff because okay. somebody screwed up and, and, and took, I was looking for that. Uh, huh? Huh? I know, I found the red grape in with the green grapes. You guys heard that if you watched the show early before we started. I was down in the kitchen going, where the hell are all these? I had a big thing full of red grapes, and they're gone. Um, but there's a reason why I'm going to tell you about, about red grapes. Um, first of all, this is Zinfandel, 2007. Gang, 2007, rocking the house. Those wines are fabulous. They're doing really well. Um, no problem aging this. This retails at 26 bucks. Are you ready for this? Two for one on this. That's 50% off. This is, this is the best $13 wine you're ever going to buy is this wine right here. Um, fabulous blackberry nose just screaming out of this wine. And again, it goes with the Mincheco. I'm just telling you, that's a cool cheese. And I'll give you a hint, we buy it at Costco. Okay, if you have a Costco near you, it's a great buy. Um, that's a cool cheese. Goes with white wines and red wines. They're very, very versatile. Um, oh, it's really good, too. Mm. Oh, come on. Really? This is pouring fantastic. Yeah. Right? Isn't this pouring nice? Um, it was a great buy for, um, you got to remember, he's aging this in French oak for 12 months, okay? It comes from the Dry Creek Valley, so it's to the north and, and right up, uh, right up uh, at the top end. Um, so let me show you where Dry Creek, so you guys know, you, you guys that are from other parts of the country. Dry Creek's up in here, okay? So we're, we're down here, but Dry Creek's up there. You're quite a ways from the ocean, so you're going to get the influence uh, of, of the fog very, very late when the temperatures have already changed, uh, and, and mainly in the evening. And then it burns off real fast, you know, during the day. Okay, so uh, Dry Creek Valley, fabulous place. Hi, guys. Um, and uh, a great buy. Two for one while it lasts. And look, when this stuff's gone, it's gone. I mean, I just can't tell you it doesn't get any better than that, okay? When it's gone, it is seriously gone. Well, what wines are you guys on? Do you guys even have a glass? Okay. So have you, have you had, what have you had so far? Oh, yeah, you haven't had the Zen yet? Oh, you did? Okay. The oh, well, let's fix that. Okay, so here, yeah, yeah. let everybody start with this right here. They can start right there. And uh, that's a 2008, and that's porn. That's the peak from James. So great buy on the Bono 2007 Zin. Um, I mean, really? 13 bucks? you got to be kidding me. So stock up on that. You can lay this down. This is not a wine you have to drink Im immediately. At this price, buy a couple cases, set them down, and then pull them out every six or eight months. It's pouring beautiful. Mm. Oh yeah, right. It's beautiful tannins. Is that is that 
that, right? Now, the reason I went into the kitchen earlier <laughs> before the show when we were, we, we are still broadcasting, I had my mic on and I was downstairs and I was looking for a red grape. And what reminded me of this, which is very interesting, <laughs> is that, that stupid, that original video back in 09, I did this demonstration to talk about tannins. So let me explain tannins. Tannins are what you feel here in your jaw that come from the red grape. They come from the skins of the grape, okay? You don't get tannin from your green grapes, so white wines. You're not getting tannin. You're really getting tannins from the skins. And the way that you can demonstrate it, now these are not quite dark enough. So what I'm, what I'm getting at, this is a red grape. It's a little early in the season for table grapes. What you want is more of those purple colored grapes, the really, really dark ones. And just so that you can use this as an example at home, now I'm going to make a real big mess here, okay? Because these are not um, as friendly as wine grapes where you can actually peel them. So what I'm, what I'm getting at is if you peel the grape, okay, and I'm going to make a big mess. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe. You guys got, you watching me? Look at this. I might have peeled that sucker off of there, man. I thought that was going to be a little tougher. All right. So, all right. So here we are. I've peeled this grape. Okay. Now, so we got the pulp and we got the skin. Just take the skin and, and chew on it. If, it, if you have grapes at home, do that right now. Peel it and chew on the skin. And these are not dark enough, but a darker grape, you'll really get a sensation right here. That's tannins. And then you take the pulp and eat the pulp. That's the sugar. If I had another red grape, because somebody took all my red grapes, eat the, the grape together with the skin, and that's what winemaking is all about, because winemaking is the combination of tannin and, and the sugar, and that works and balances. If you taste them separate, they, they seem tart. Um, it gives you a real sharp feeling here on the skin, and then the pulp is too sugary, too sweet. It's the combination of those that really works in a red wine. Okay, so uh, next time you want to show your friends and do something fun, peel a grape, eat the skin, you'll, you'll learn what a tannin, the tannins. Uh, when we talk about Zinfandel, this particular Zinfandel, the tannins are very soft, nice, clean finish. It's real typical Dry Creek Valley. Dry Creek Valley known for spiciness, so this Zinfandel is going to have a little bit of a spice. Did you have a question? You're, you're floating there. Go ahead. Fire away. <laughs> um, so this question comes from Brad. Okay. And he would like to know if you think that tasting notes on the label help out or not. Well, you know, tasting notes um, typically come from either the marketing department or from the winemaker themselves on their perception. Um, quite often, um, and I'm going to rip a few uh, about the wine industry a little bit. The industry in general doesn't do a really good job putting descriptions on the label. If you ever, um, I'm not going to read these here and then find out that they did the same thing, but <laughs> what we see very often is they put things that are kind of cutesy. We picked the very best grapes. Really? As opposed to the what? The junky grapes? It was the the best barrels used in this wine. This is a shout out for winemakers and wineries. You guys have, what, what? Oh, I'm sorry, okay. Yeah, that's okay, that's good. Uh, <laughs> she was attacking me. Um, this is a shout out to winemakers, uh, any, anybody that's listening that, that actually has a brand. Don't put all that cutesy stuff. Of course you use the best grapes. Of course you use the best barrels. We assume that, okay? You're making world-class wines. You better. Give us the breakdown of what you see in that wine. 
If you think there's, there's blackberries and red cherry and a little cola and a little bit of uh, chocolate or cassis, those are the things that we want on the label, and that's what the consumer's looking for. And, and to answer the, the question at hand, um, yeah, you can take a little bit of that. It becomes a, uh, uh, a suggestion because when you think about things like, thank you, things like blackberries, and then you think what a blackberry smells like, um, and then you smell or taste the wine, that blackberry flavor is going to jump out. And the way that you can really tell that is um, <clears throat> take some, um, l let's see, something, something simple like, um, oh, take, take, you have chocolate at home? Do a little, some shavings of chocolate. Put them into a regular wine glass and then pour a cab, which, which should have a little bit of cocoa, maybe a little bit of, of uh, chocolate in the nose. Smell that chocolate and then smell the wine and most likely that'll pop right out of the glass. So uh, the power of suggestion can definitely uh, sway you a little bit. But I wish winemakers, I really wish they'd get off this cutesy thing. The consumer, you guys want more information, I know that, because I, I hear it all the time. So, uh, so again, going back to the Zinfandel, um, two for one till it's gone. And, and guys, these wines are pouring really good. They're just, all they're trying to do is move on to the next vintage. They're going to throw out the best deal we can. That's the best deal in wine country. You're not going to find a $13 in uh, Dry Creek Valley uh, that was aged in French oak for 12 months. No way you're going to find that. You can go to the best store you want. You're not going to see that. Okay, so uh, take advantage of that. Now, this is one that, that, that um, when John... Banbury, who's the uh, winemaker for Bonneau Wines. When John made the deal on this next wine, I thought, oh my gosh, we are rocking the house. First of all, this, this Syrah is 2007. Again, great, 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 great vintage year. This is pouring as darn nice as you, oh yeah, you're all over this. <laughs> As nice as you can ask a wine, here, take this for our guests because they're going to want that. Um, this is pouring about as good as you could ask. This fruit, some of that came from uh, in Napa Stagecoach Vineyard and then I believe in Calistoga. Um, all Napa Valley fruit, about, I want to say 18 months in, in French oak. Oh, man. But if you had the shavings of, of chocolate, you smell that and smell this all day long in this wine. Rocking, rocking the house. Um, retail price on this wine is 48 bucks. Okay. How about pony up and buy six? You can get them for $20. $20. You can't even buy a value brand junk wine for that. I'm just telling you. And, and come in the tasting room and we'll taste this. You're not going to believe how nice this bottle of wine is pouring. And uh, that'll be the next one for our guests that are up here in the library lounge uh, tasting along with us. Hmm. Yahoo, right? That's really luscious. Definitely one right? of my favorites. In right? The room, yeah. Oh, yeah. Th 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 this is by far uh, the best buy you could ever look at. <clears throat> In, in uh, Napa Valley Fruit, 2007, great vintage year. He didn't mess around. It's in the Bonneau label. Um, that's a premium wine at $20 on six, man. I mean, I, I can't believe that. Um, here, let's do something. Let's, let's, uh, let's dig in the hat here. I want to get a winner here. Um, I'm going to dig way down in the bottom here. In the, all right? I'm gonna, there's a cork in here. How the hell did that get in there? What was that all about? Oh, was that a good shot? Yeah, it was pretty good. All right, let me dig in here. Let's see if we can get a name. Let, I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds of names in there. Um, and if, we, if it takes me, you know, two months to get a winner, then that's just the way it is. All right, let's see. What do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? All right. Joseph. Joseph Bao. B-A-O. Joseph Bao. A 418 area code. Boy, anybody know where that is? 418, I don't even have a clue. 
Joseph, you have won 10 bottles of wine for $1 a bottle. You cannot beat that, but you must be tuned in to win. You're going to be pissed. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I mean, this guy's going to be really mad. Ten bottles of wine, dude. Got to tune in to win. That's just part of the deal. Okay? Not hard to do. We don't, you know, we don't torture you. We actually let you taste wine. Uh, or if you're at home, you can taste, you know, right along with us. Um, so uh, you, you'll get an email from me, but you got to be tuned in. So, they're, they're, you know, the stakes are high now. It's ten, ten bottles. We get a winner, goes back down to one. Um, winner so this this uh, might take a while but that's okay there's hundreds of names in here I mean I got lots of names so uh, so be tuned in though you got to be tuned in oh man love and life would you match, would you match that one with the Manchego as well uh, well let's do that I need more of it though because remember I worked out today so I can drink more and I passed my physical with my doctor, my doctor B, and that's good. Yeah, my cholesterol was 148, gang. How about that? Not bad for an old dude, right? 148, man, that's rocking. It used to be like 280. The doctor was going, what, are you trying to kill yourself? <laughs> I go, dude, I have no idea. But he said I can drink a glass a day so I can have the biggest glass I want. Yeah, see, this is why I like that cheese. This cheese works really nice. Um, um, Karina, except for the one I just bit on, share this with the, the gang. Or let them have a little piece of that. They'll like that a lot. It's a mild cheese. And I'm, I steer away from the overpowering cheeses because now that I'm chewing and eating and right in front of you, it's great. Um, I don't want it to overpower the wine. I want them to kind of balance each other. Manchego does that in a really nice way. Mmm. Wow. The nose is so good on this wine. Unbelievable. Mm. God, I love that. Oh, there was one left. Good. Yep, just, oh, for you. just for me. That's good. So, um, four fabulous wines. Great buy on all four of these. Um, they're not going to last. They'll be gone. When they're gone, it's over. But if you're looking to fill some holes in your, uh, in your cellar, um, without a doubt, you can, you can do that. The springtime is here for us in paradise. You know, we just we live life good. Um, and uh, so we're ready to go right into Sauvignon Blancs and into the rosés. Uh, no problem what, whatsoever. All right, let me recap what's going on. In the taste room this week, on Thursday, again, we've got Ricky Allen Ray, Ricky Allen Ray in the house on Thursday, Friday, John Pita, John Pita in the house, uh, that's 7.30 to 10.30, and then we have uh, Chris Allman, Chris Allman will be with us on Saturday from 7.30 to 10.30, you can come to the taste room, come hungry, you can order food from Jack and Tony's and from Sushi to Die For, and they'll deliver right here. So great wine, great music, tons of food, no problem, no excuse. Uh, this is uh, where we hang out and have fun all weekend long. So, And for the, I forgot, now it's baseball season, go Giants, you got to love that. So if you're a Giant fan, no big deal. We'll have it up on the screens. Every game we'll have uh, right here in the tasting room. So, um, you know, come down on a, on a Sunday and I'll make popcorn for you and we'll watch the... Uh, Giants games together. So, uh, and then maybe we might get a thrill with our Warriors. They actually might make the playoffs. I'm not a big basketball guy, but gosh darn. I mean, geez, they could actually win the damn thing. Did you have a question over there? You're just standing looking good. Okay, go ahead. So, we have a question from Eric, and he would like to know um, what can you can expect from a Zen with age? He loves the young vibrancy of the Zins or the young, the young Zins, he wants to know what he can expect. Yeah, I mean, what, what you're going to really find with, with Zinfandels and, and uh, that uh, also for like Pinots, 
they're, they're going to get really soft. But that characteristic of spiciness, uh, black cherry, blueberry, anything, any of those characteristics um, are still going to be there in those wines. Um, and that's why I always suggest when you're thinking about, you know, a wine and having some ageability, buy yourself a case of those wines and then pull them out every six or eight months. And it'll give you the idea of the progression um, and where that wine is at. And as you get closer to where it's peaking in its fruit, then it's time to consume, consume a little more of that, maybe have a dinner party and, and move through those wines. Um, but like any red wine, of course, you're looking for that fruit to be falling off a little bit. But the tannins, what you feel here in the wine, will be, continue to be a little softer. So that, that's what I would look for in the Zinfandel, Zinfandels. They can, they can be very soft. Um, Bonneau makes two uh, reserve Zins. They call it Rock Pile and uh, their Dry Creek Reserve. And those are aged in brand new French oak for 22 and 34 months, respectively, the, between the two. Um, those you could lay down like cabs. So you could probably put another five, six years on those above what you normally would do in, in Zinfandels. Um, but uh, great question. And that was Eric. Is it Eric? Yes. Okay. Where are you from, Eric? Tell us where you're from. We'd love to know. Um, wow. Somebody walked up with sparkling wine. Nice like that a little party going on I like that okay so um, all right so let me recap what we've got here in you got your question you you no, you're okay um, so let's go back uh, number one right here Sauvignon Blanc Gann family sellers you got it up here right above my head there is that what you're doing you do it now yeah oh okay well now you can have that one um, great buy on that, $15 on six bottles or more up to 12, 12 or more, $12.50. Shipping is 10 bucks on six bottles, $20 on 12 or more. That is a deal. Great buy on that. In, in the East Coast, that's a $40 a case savings in shipping alone, just in shipping charges. So great buy. Stock up now. Uh, super vintage year. The wine's pouring really nice. Loving that, 07, great buy. Uh, the second one, James Family Cellars, right up here above my noggin, right? You got me right up there. 2008, gold medal winning. Um, that's a wine, two things you want to think about. That's a wine that we have a vertical going. I have 07, 08, and 09 still available in that wine. I think I have, yeah, I do, I have it over there. Uh, 07, 08, 09 in a vertical. We'll soon have the 2010. So a four bottle vertical, but you can buy a three bottle vertical. All of them are gold medal winners. Um, this was the very second vintage that they did. Pretty darn good. Um, great wine. $36 retail, 28 on one to five bottles, and 24 bucks on six or more. Man, buy a case of that and stash it. A uh, great uh, uh, example of a wine that you can age. Put another three to five years on that, no problem. And then Bono's Dry Creek Valley Zin. Take a look at that price. Retail is 26. It's two for one, guys. Two for one. Are you kidding me? Um, at, you know, $13. Good luck with that. Go to the grocery store and show me your $13. God knows where you got it, wine. Um, great buy. It's pouring fantastic. Um, that's a premium wine, 12 months, French oak, no complaints on that. And then Bono Syrah, Bono Syrah, um, that is $48 uh, retail. You can get it for 20 bucks on six or more. Um, let me see what he said on, I want to say that he did, he did about 18 months French oak in this wine. Um, you guys have it. It's pouring nice. I mean, it's pouring really, really good. For 20 bucks, that's, that's the deal of the century. So take full advantage of that. Um, all right, let me do one more. Let me do one more quick draw because obviously these people were sleeping at the wheel, and boy, are they going to be just irritated. But more, I'll do this left-handed so you know I didn't cheat, okay? I'm just digging. I'm not looking. I'm just feeling in there. Oh, here's a winner. This is uh, Dan. Oh, no. Sorry. 
another weird area code. One of these strange area code. Kate Veranu. Kate Veranu, a 484 area code. I have no idea where that is. We've got a question? Eric is from New York City. Oh, welcome, Eric. New York City. You guys are going to be in the 80s tomorrow. Or maybe you'll be in the 80s today. But uh, thanks for tuning in from New York City. Uh, great part of the world right there, no doubt about it. Um, and uh, New York, uh, great, uh, great wine region as well. If you ever get to the Finger Lakes region, uh, awesome place to go. Uh, I grew up in Rochester, so I know it really well. And a uh, cool place for some wines. But Kate... You won 10 bottles of wine, but you didn't tune in to win, or you called the tasting room, but that's okay. You'll tune in next week, because it's, it's going to stay at 10 until we get a winner. Okay? All right. So, I want to thank uh, my bloggers uh, for tuning in, all of our regular guests that tune in. I want to thank our guests that have come up here to taste these wonderful wines and hang out with us. Um, and uh, I want you to remember, next week... Well, to tune in, and uh, we'll always have something fresh. This show is the longest-running webcast in the world, unless somebody can show me one that is longer. And uh, thank you all for tuning in. This is where you discover wine, one sip at a time here at Cellars of Sonoma. Thanks for tuning in, gang. We'll see you next week at 6 o'clock. Bye for now. <laughs>